Okay, so I'm here today with uh, Peter Tree Vivian. And for those people who don't know, let me just give you a little bit of Peter's background. Um, it's quite impressive. Peter was at Ipswich under John Lyle for a while. Uh, he's had experience working alongside people like Gianluca Viali at Watford. Um, was involved at uh, Southend for a while. Worked for the FA for, I believe, 10 years. I'm sure he'll correct me if I've got that wrong. And then most recently at West Ham through until earlier this year. Um, and Peter is now going to be helping out a little bit with the uh, the coaches, the players. But let's get Peter to talk for himself on, on some of this, yeah? So, Peter, well, first of all, welcome to Felix, though. Thank you. Um, how did this come about? How did this... It came about uh, through a telephone conversation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, basically, what had happened, uh, I'd, by the end of June, um, I'd resigned from the post of head of coach and player development at West Ham. Um, basically, because... Uh, I'm getting on a little bit in years and I thought I've been at it 40 years um, playing coaching and what have you so I thought no I need to cut back I need to sort of listen to my body a bit more and, yeah. and take yeah. it a bit easier but I, I wanted to do something um, so I wanted to keep, keep myself ticking over so I was looking at different little bits and pieces maybe on the consultancy side mm -hmm. and this sort of thing um, and the phone rang one night and it was Ian uh, oh, all right. okay. and uh, he, he sort of came on and he sort of said, uh, oh, we've, we've heard along the grapevine that you're retiring, then we're retiring, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we wondered if you might be interested in joining us as, and I, I won't say it because it was, it was, it was, it was a, a sort of a very sort of lighthearted, would you be interested in possible too? Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to mislead people. Sure. And it was, it was a pure coaching role. And I said, no, yeah. literally very yeah, bluntly, yeah, no. Yeah. And I think he was a bit shocked with it because right. it was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> and I said, but I may have something that interests you. Uh huh. Yeah. And the phone call lasted an hour. Oh wow! It just we just talked and talked and talked. And the more I put him in the picture of what I could bring and what I could offer, um, Felix, he was just surprised. Let's put it that way. And just went, blimey! Would you be prepared to come and uh, talk to some of the committee people and mm. the coaches and one of you because mm. we've never heard of this before. The mere fact that you spoke for an hour and yeah. without having met before, yeah, I never met him before. Um, there's a nice little sign that maybe there's a bit of chemistry there as well. Yeah, he was great. He was really, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, cool. And I think it was something that, that sort of um, obviously interested him as well, personally, yeah. as well as collectively for the football club. So so what exactly would you, would you be doing here? Well, the, 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 what I'm bringing is a, a, a coach and player development programme. Now, the interesting thing is, and the point you make about um, you know, I've, I've spent all my working time in the pro game. Mm. I've never worked at no. semi-pro level before, which um, it's a challenge in a way because you do have to adjust certain little sure. things. But, sure. but what you don't adjust is you don't, don't adjust the work that you do to improve the coaches mm -hmm. in order to improve the players. Right. That doesn't matter where you start. You, mm -hmm. you know, um, I've worked from nine years old up to first team level. Mm -hmm. And... We're all human beings, we all learn. We all want to get better. So at the end of the day, it's, if you get the program right that encourages them to try mm -hmm. things and to mm -hmm. learn things and become better, the knock-on effect is tremendous. Yeah, yeah. So I went over to the club and had a chat with, um, with uh, a few of the committee and uh, some coaches and, and, and what have you. And um, it seemed to be sort of well received. So I just said, look, this is what I can bring. Um, obviously it's a, it, it is like a consultancy type role, mm -hmm. but it's like probably, oh, it, it could vary between doing five or six hours a week up mm -hmm. to 10 mm -hmm. hours a week, mm -hmm. depending, mm -hmm. you know, it's that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it is purely working with the coaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Purely developing the coaches. And it's, and it's to, to give a little bit of background as well, this has only happened in the professional game mm -hmm. uh, three years ago. Well, I was so just about to say, because as you were saying that to me, I'm, I'm standing here thinking, somebody helping the coaches i think the natural assumption from a lot of people is well the coaches know everything and they no. they help the players <laughs> no. yeah but when no. you think about it i mean from my own experience yeah. um, as, as a language as, as an english teacher yeah, yeah. teacher you have people who train the people who train the people who train yes. etc yeah um why not in football this 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 because uh, i was one of the original four in the country that was, was set by the fa to run a pilot scheme on this mm. so i looked after five teams for two and a half years yeah and i went in one day with each team yeah just working with their coaches right. it had never been done before 
anywhere. Yeah. It hadn't been done in Europe. It hadn't been done anywhere. Right. And it was a big step forward by the FA. They, yeah. they, they yeah. were in, in line with the Premier League. My understanding time. is they didn't want you to go at West Ham, did they? No, That's not not scary. well. Not I don't think. <laughs> I, I think there was some surprise. Really, there yeah, was some yeah, surprise. Yeah. They didn't expect it. Yeah. Uh, because it, it it is it is a long development. Yeah. Development, as you know, is yeah. a long term sure. thing. It's not a five minute exactly. fix. Yeah. And um, two and a half years, we've managed to get quite a lot of different things in place, different things done. And the coaches down there and the staff were superb. They yeah. they you know they reacted well to it. They they were prepared. I was asking them to try things they'd never come across before. Yeah. And it will be no different here. Yeah. You know, and I've said to the the brief chats I've had with some of the coaches here you're going to be asked to try things and you're going to think yeah. where is this coming from but it's very much down to them yeah I can't force them it's down well to I think them. this is going to be you know exciting for a club like Felix though because okay we're playing at uh, step four or tier yeah. eight of football but it's a pretty ambitious yeah, club and, and this is a nice message to the fans as well I think that we're taking it seriously getting somebody like yourself on board and uh, I'm sure you're going to be made to feel very very welcome well yeah I mean I would, the first thing was that you know um I think one or two friends of mine sort of said, Felix, no, what, what, you know, you've, yeah. you've, you've had contact from some other pro clubs about doing days here and days yeah, here and that yeah. sort of thing, you know, and now all of a sudden you've you've decided to at least get involved there as well. And I said, because I think it's a great challenge. Mm -hmm. I think it's lovely. And mm -hmm. why shouldn't it? Yeah, why why, why should all the good stuff be yeah. just for the yeah. sole purpose of the professional game? Yeah. So we're going up this year? Well, I don't know, because I'm not picking the team for <laughs> no, no, doing that. No, but no. I, 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 yeah. the one thing I have learned doing it in the, what is it now, the pilot started in 2010, so eight years, which is the longest anybody's been doing mm -hmm. it, is that it works. And there is, when you see that development within the coaches yeah, yeah. and the challenges they can then give the players and yeah, the players pick yeah. up and run with it, the, 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 the improvement in the players is limitless. It's up to that. Really appreciate your time no talking problem. to us. Thanks so, so much. No problem. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very Cheers. much. I wanted to talk to you just briefly about Peter joining the club. Yeah. Um, what does he bring to the club? Uh, what, do, what doesn't he bring to the club? Something I've wanted at the club for a long time, probably even when I was a youngster at the club. Yeah. Um, from, from the point of view when I spoke to him, obviously the initial, initially I approached him to come and do some first team coaching for us, but then spending an hour on the phone listening to his philosophy and what, he's, what, what he actually wanted to bring to the club from a coaching point of view was just the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. I think I've put that in writing somewhere, but um, some, something we've lacked um, because this, the coaches we have, and, and I think that, that happens throughout non-league football and, and lower league football, um, they go and get their coach, they do their first, their first course at level one, um, and then they're left to their own devices to get on with it, basically. Um, for us, from our point of view, now we've got someone who's got a wealth of experience and probably more highly rated than anyone else in the country coming to our football club to, to actually now mentor and bring our coaches on. Uh, and and that's, that's what we're looking for. Uh, and that's what people will bring now throughout the club. It's a bit of a coup, isn't it, for us? Massive coup, massive coup. You can probably see with a smile on my face. Yeah. Put a lot of hard work into it, and, and you know the club finally agreed that we do. We would go ahead and, and bring Peter in, but I just I think people don't realise the benefit that they will get from it, and that's just from that's from under sixes all the way through to us. I mean, I've, the, the amount I've learned in in two weeks, three weeks talking to him. His price is so really. is this talking about sort of progression and yeah, everything absolutely. within the club absolutely. doing the same thing? Absolutely. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's, it's coach and player development. Yeah. So if the coach is developed the right way, then the players will develop the right way, um, and that, that and that's the youngsters and for the future of the club to bring players through that that can you know the, the, the important part is the first team. Obviously, yeah. no, no matter sure. what, the yeah. first thing, the most important side that wins games. Um, but if you're bringing youngsters through that can actually step up to that level eventually and they've been coached the right way, they've, they've been brought up the right way as one club, then they know what to expect yeah. when they get there. And, yeah. and you know, Peter will give, a, give us that with bundles of, bundles of experience. That's great. Great, OK. Well, look, thanks a lot for your time. It's an exciting season coming up ahead mm. and getting somebody like Peter on board, you know. I'm sure that's going to excite a lot. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think people see the benefit of it, definitely. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. He'll be, be taking the training session Thursday, so if anyone wants to come really? and watch it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Okay.